Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is a regularly scheduled uh, meeting of the Sunderland Board of Awesome, because we still don't have a name yet, according to the state legislature. That said, we're going to talk to the town clerk, who's deciding to move the polling place. Yes, from the and elementary school. And then we're going to talk to Sarah, oh. and then we're going, to <laughs> we're going to sign a bunch of notes. We're going to borrow a half a million dollars tonight, in theory. And from there, we'll set some sewer be, rates. I wonder if anybody will be here. Yeah, nobody will be here. We're going to sign a note for, I will say this, the town voted for a debt exclusion for a new fire truck. That bonding is underway, and we're about to sign a note tonight. It'll be interesting to see how those numbers play out. We'll see when the fire truck comes. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. It might, might end up in the fire truck, too. Um, we also have a, a cultural grant acceptance letter, 5200 bucks. And then we're going to discuss a little bit of insurance coverage here at the town office building. Because if you build a great park, your value goes up. And our insurance just went up. So, yes, it did. Okay, so first up is a town clerk who's come here after years of toil about moving the polling place. It's all you. Yeah, from the elementary school to the library. And there's... We've been talking about it for a couple of years. And there's a few reasons why. One is, it seems like the last five years we have a population um, in Centerland that are having a harder time getting into the school and you know making their way down to the hallway in the gym. Um, during primaries um, or when school's in session, the uh, parking there's not very many parking places. So a couple, the, this last, that's the last election that we had, it was during the school week, it was not during a vacation week, and it, it, the town clerk had been talking about it for probably five or six plus years, and the school, and, and people have said, have said, well, the school was built was built as a community place and we were supposed to be able to use it well at the last election the one thing that we noticed the government town of Sunderland government noticed was that having having to continue to have elections at the elementary school while the elementary school was in session was not a good thing and I, I, don't, I don't think anybody needs to review why it's not a good thing um, but that last election proved beyond a doubt that it wasn't a good good thing. Fortunately, the town clerk has been planning for this for a number of years, um, and the when we had a conversation offline, um, the, the town clerk had made a recommendation that we really consider. And by law, it's a board of selectmen that have the, the town clerks Town clerks run the election, is responsible for the election, but the the town, in this case, the board of Mr. Bergeron's term, awesome, um, are are, respo are are responsible for providing a safe polling place, and, and safe not only for for the people that are voting, but for the people that are in the facility. Um, so, oh, we have looked for a while and. I would agree with the town clerk that the library is probably the best. Now, we already store the voting booths are stored in the vault, which is located off the library. Um, so now we're not try transporting vaults and police and voting machines and everything else. It's all in one place. It's next to the town clerk's office. So instead of, I mean, she can walk back and forth instead of having to drive and all that other thing. So really the, the um, we, we uh, need to look at a different place. The library seems to fit with their, now we have expanded <coughs> parking uh, behind the town, town hall. Along the street we have parking. We have parking uh, by the library. We'll work with the library um, for on the election days. I think it's a, it's time has come. Yeah, and they, not, they have voted. And, and the school hasn't asked us to move, but it's something that we're taking on our own. The, the school the school will make do with us voting there. I just want to make everybody understand the school did not. This was this was brought forward by the administration of the town just 
just because it was being becoming onerous having at the, the library and providing safety for everybody that's concerned. Is that what you wanted to say? Hmm. It's going to be in the public room there. It is. Yeah. It's a lot smaller. <clears throat> yeah. Um, but it's, it's doable. We, well, you had like, well, well, was it, it, you could put quite a few elections yeah. in the gym, you know. Yeah. Because it was way bigger than we needed in terms of that space. So. But we also okay. saw that we also saw that there's studies done about voting, and 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 I think the town clerk is going to be setting up the voting that, from from what I've read and seen, that there's good ways to set up polling places and there's bad ways and the way you make you have people face. It, it's um, it's beneficial and people feel better certain and the town clerk's going to take all that into consideration and and it actually may be a smaller place but it may be able to be set up a little bit better than the, than the way we have it in the gym right now as well so yep just because it's bigger doesn't mean it's better you know? oh, I I was surprised but it's easier <laughs> yeah well, I, and, and it's just like at the university. They say that if you put an 18-inch berm someplace, um, people won't walk over. If you don't want somebody to go someplace, put an 18-inch berm there, and they won't walk over it. I that's what, and you know, and these are studies been done. Studies been done about polling places and what makes people feel comfortable, and and the town clerk has talked about that. So I I think it's going to be set up a little bit differently, and I think it's going to be. A more conducive to people to come in to vote. And all the laws, you know, we'll follow all the laws that govern a polling place. Yeah. So, but the selectmen need to 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 vote, and so then I need to notify everybody, which I am going to do through the census. Going out with the census, that makes sense. Yeah. And everybody gets it, so. Well, at this point, I'd like to make a uh, motion to change the town of Sunderland. Do we have to say that we're only one precinct? We are only one precinct. Yeah, that yeah. we're one precinct and that we <clears throat> are going to change our polling place, 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 place from the Sunderland Elementary School to the Sunderland Public Library. Uh, second. There's a motion made in second to change the polling place. And again, that's from the elementary school to the library. This is, as Tom has said, it's been in the works for a little while. Uh, all the same rules will apply. Pol you know, politicking can happen in a certain radius, and there's entries, and there's signage, and all that will be laid out. So, there's no other discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three to zero, please. Candidates, probably, though, we will mimic much like Deerfield, if you've ever seen their polling. Usually the candidates campaigning are at the end of the street yeah. across from Greenfield yep. Savings. Yep, yep, yep. Because of the 150, 150 foot. Right, if that makes so sense. that buffer and we'll be using that door. Yep. It's so no candidates are gonna get be very to close at all. So there. they'll probably go okay. to the end of the street, but Okay. Easy. So we'll have to see the, how the first election goes and then learn the steps in improving it and take it from there. Thank, Thank you. you okay. So next up, and on time. Perfect. I know. Unbelievable. Look at that. Right on the money. Uh, Sarah wants to talk about uh, FR Cog GIS mapping. We get two letters in front of us uh, to uh, uh, Maureen Mulvaney about getting the GIS data available to the town. And so why don't you give us a once over? Okay, um, this is kind of a um, bureaucratic matter, um, but uh, um, FERCOG has, a, they've got a GIS person on staff, they've got a lot of GIS data. When we were doing the transportation circulation plan, that was like six, seven years ago, no, six maybe. Um, we, it's a never ending Linda process. Linda Lopat so. went up there and we, we got all our assets, mm -hmm. you know, mapped and we created this um, transportation and circulation uh, vision uh, map mm -hmm. um, and um, we just want to we're at this stage now to kind of go back now that the the park is is pretty much done um, 
going back to our original, um, or our first initiative, which is doing a town-wide trail map, mm -hmm. and sort of like going back to, zooming back out to the right. whole town. And so our next step is to sort of do a conceptual plan for what the town trail system would be. And Does that include the stuff that we did a number of years back that we printed out, like those trail maps? Is that because we did those, those those black and white ones that ComCon printed. Out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're we're coordinating with the ComCon. Mm -hmm. We're we're looking to improve on that because what what we want to do is like now we've got the town really c much more connected to the river, mm -hmm. and we see like sort of the next step is now connecting to the mountain, mm -hmm. and sort of instead of having a map of Mount Toby, yep. it, you know, and 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 sort of in the c public consciousness, it's like there's Mount Toby and it's this other place and then there's the town and so we're looking to kind of create more of connection to the mountain from the from the village so you're trying to get a, a layer with the trail maps on it essentially um yeah and um with the with the maps because they already have some trails mm -hmm. you know on their on their maps and it'll just save us a lot of work to start with what they've got for our conceptual planning and and Maureen said it the, there had to be a formal request from the select board for some reason so that question mm. so is this something we could just feed to the cog and have them update the map for the town well we actually have we've talked with them about they we have a <laughs> I don't know if it's still good, but we had a bid from them uh -huh. to do the town trail map. Yeah, yeah. But we want to do more than just a map. Um, what we want to do is kind of some conceptual planning for a, a trail system, like sort of do we need to do anything with the gateways to... Um, uh, the mountain do we need to do anything with wayfinding from the village mm -hmm. you know sort of like just before we create the map just sort of looking at the you know a plan so sir as you're talking about the the totality of the town and, and the weed you mean the town or is this a tool for community pathways committee to begin whatever that next phase or yeah. document a current phase correct. is correct okay so this is a tool of community pathways is looking to use Correct. to basically go ah, it's not going to work or this could work or yeah. etc yeah I see yeah it just it just will save us from having to pay someone to recreate mm -hmm. all the data to you know be making a plan hmm. so <clears throat> you get somebody of community pathways that's capable of like massaging GIS and laying stuff over or is this something you're going to come back and say okay I got another bid and somebody else is going to we're going to pay to do it we we do have bid from um, Carlos mm -hmm. to do the conceptual planning uh -huh. and we're in negotiations yeah. with him and he said when can you get me the GIS data uh -huh. <laughs> so. so so it sounds like we need to add another layer that contains the trail map stuff but which is separate from conceptual planning in my mind right because you may use this as a tool for that but they are two separate things really yeah, there's, there's two separate things. We need the data to do this kind of first step of conceptual planning, and then we'll need the data to actually create a map. Mm -hmm. And we may work with FERCOG at that point. I don't, I'm not well, sure. I, would, I would think FERCOG, because they printed out the maps for our session Saturday. Yeah, they've done GIS for us in the past. Yeah. So. I, I was just looking up, they, they, I was just tr looking up on their FERCOG dot, F-R-C-O-G dot, org fercog.org and they have they, they're mapping all of they they link their maps to all of franklin county yeah, yeah. that kind that's a up. that's a big thing for them yeah. right now right right no nope. to because they market they they're trying to market the entire yeah franklin county that makes sense yep right so that's why i just looked up and it is they they do have it on on the on the yeah. web page yeah but but i i wouldn't think the gis data would be that hard to get i mean and is it said? I mean, we just have that. They just said they they just said we needed a formal request from the board of. Yeah, the we asked. We asked. Reason, we, I, so yeah. we asked them, <laughs> and they said, "Well, it has to come from you." So that's why I'm here. Yeah, Tom can ask him. 
So can I circle back? We, mm -hmm. The Pathways has reached out to the COG for a, what a proposal to lay it out, right? Am for I a hearing? map. For a map. Okay. Yeah. For a map. Got it. Yeah. And you're, you're, you're talking right now about using the GIS data as a planning tool. Got it. Is a, does a COG have anything proprietary about that? No. It's, not, it's not our data, well, it's, it's their data. data. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, I, I mean, if you, go back, if you go back 10, 15 years, whenever, whenever the, ten, the state, the state, did, the, the state G, did the state right. did a GIS and right. gave, it gave it for free. Right, right. They gave, and so then we, we, have, we have worked with um, planning board, right, Davey? Mm -hmm. And Tom conservation Tom. and yeah. assessors. Yeah. Um, and, and we've all added stuff to the GIS, so right. As we matter of fact, it's on it's on our web page, I think, right? Yeah, the, the, I was just gonna pop. I think it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think it's on. I there. think it's on our web page. Should so. be a link. It, yeah, it's so so it's not proprietary. Right, it's public, and you can even you can even go to the state, as I recall, sure. and then I pull it up. Graphics. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. the graphics started the the assessor layers. That makes sense, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they would yeah. 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 want to use that. Yep. Yeah. Right, and then so. we have other ones added on because we were talking about like map mapping out the culverts. Yep, and then getting those in there in a layer too. Layer, another layer. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. Yeah, I, thought, I think there. I look over the last three or four years, Sherry's partnered very, very much with the Cog, and and they've done for the last three or four years, they've done a wonderful job for us. So. Yeah. I don't have a problem asking for the data. Send it, send the data to us, and then we can get it to Sarah. Right? That's a project of the board? Yeah. I, that's easy stuff. Yeah. So we have a letter to sign to the COG and then be on our way. Yeah. Okay. Uh, say so, Dave? Yeah. We'll just get it. We'll put it in another layer and then if you need to, yeah. you can have it printed out or, because the, I'm sure the COG will print off maps anytime mm -hmm. for you. Do they, do they want the physical map or do they want the data? Sounds like a good Carlos, right Carlos now, probably we, wants to work off the data. data. Right, exactly. Yeah. We want the data. So, so yeah, so then when, when we get the data, then, 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 we, just tra then we just move it over to, to, to Carlos or whoever the consultant is that we choose. So maybe a naive question. Shoot. If, 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 if it's, you know, anybody can build a layer off of it, is it something that the COG is actually hosting? You can simply dial in and, and access it and without having to get data per se. I don't know the difference, right? I don't either. If I, if, I, if I want to do SketchUp, I can flip my computer up and get after it, right? right? And if I want to do something else, I go to a site and it's there and I start. So is the GIS the similar format where it's like, hey, this is Sarah, Community Pathways, Sunderland. I want to access and create a layer and it'll be my file in Dropbox. I'm making up names because yeah. that's as close to IT as I come. That's pretty good. Right? right? That's right? pretty why, good. Why, why can't it simply be in a Dropbox and go, hey, this is a community pathways, and I, I dial in and it's done. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we share prints on projects. You know I that. agree. That, but that's what we do, uh, Dropbox. Right. The layers are different. You can lock the layers out. Yep. You have them just yep. visible for some groups. Right. Our, our assessor ones are like that. Because yep. the Board of Health is creating a layer, too. Sure. Yeah. But it won't be totally public. Right. You know what the data is that we're hmm. going to so is that an equally is that a tool of equal opportunity for you to simply exercise the planning piece if you have access to it? So when I see a request here says send me the data, I'm feeling like okay, Putin's at the other end of the line and he wants it all, right? Well, that, <laughs> I don't I don't you got to help me out with what the data means, or is it just access to what's existing? I would say it's a, it's a data that's existing, right? And Carlos and Car Carlos would take the, work off Car totally Carlos would it. take Car yeah. Carlos would take those uh, that base files, yeah. and then he he would yeah, right he would put on what 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 he's working on. Yeah. He'd overlay he'd overlay the mapping or whatever. Sure. I mean, it seems like if the assessors are doing it, a concom has done it, and the you know planning board clearly is is in, in the mix of that, and we see those in the form of maps. We build off of that ourselves. I think at one point the planning board had a computer that was at Will Sillen's house when he was on the planning board that he, that he had. Worked off the GIS, yeah. Yeah, because Will, Will was trained in GIS, so. Right. Yeah, no, nobody's touched that since Will left the board. <laughs> right, and, and, but, but, Will, but, Will, 
But see, Will, Will was Will was a GIS person, you know. Right. So so he had it, and he could he could he could work Access on it. it it's a wonder, it's a wonderful tool. Sure. I I know if if I have a problem, if I want something, I at the university I just call up Niels or Sasha and I say I need you to do something, and they says. Okay, and and they I don't know what they do, but they make it happen, and I got a GIS of what happened. I'm I'm happy. Simple I'm, for I'm me. I'm clicking on our GIS link in the link on the site now just to see what it. Is. Yeah. Yeah. So it that, sounds that, like that base GIS underneath the assessors was created by Carter Graphics. Yeah. Yeah. This is and like right we, on our front page. Right, and so we can create any layers we want. On yeah, off of that. So I think it's just a matter of getting. Them out or not. Finding out them, I just don't know the mechanics in terms of procedures. I think it's the line of questioning I was following. It's like or right. trying to explore. It's like, well, are we, right. who's actually going to create right. the layer? Right. What do we need to get right. for them right. for data? Am I getting a terabyte well, so download or am I getting an access passcode? Which is it? Right. Well, I just figured we'd work out all those details. I think we wrote like just, you know, when we're, if they could just work with me when mm -hmm. I'm ready to, when we're, the committee's ready to figure out how to handle it all. So, Sarah, have you guys got uh, uh, a set of uh, goals that have bookends on them, or is this wide open? I don't think it works on your phone, though. Mm. Um, you know, we still, our first, um, our first CPA grant mm -hmm. was for the conceptual planning. Yep. Yep. We It was for $10,000. We spent half of that mm -hmm. on the master plan yep. for yep. the, um, which we, was a bargain. For this piece, yep. Yes. <laughs> like, we... Got a very good deal on that. It was, you know, a lot of donated time from mm -hmm. Carlos, but we still have half of it left, mm -hmm. the five thousand. So that, so it's, that's why I say we're sort of going back. Like it is taking a while, but we're we're kind of going back to the, you know, the con conceptual planning. Right. I, I had hoped. My my hope was that we would be doing that this fall in time to get a CPA proposal sure. in for January, but I, I'm honestly, I was so tired um, after the part was done that I'm just like getting back up on my feet again. Right. So I, I don't think we're gonna hit that this year. Um, plus, you know, Carlos is really busy. Plus it gives you time to go through the exercise of the visioning piece too. And, yeah, you know, exactly. Execution. It's just gonna take more time. Yeah. If, 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 you know. There's only yeah. so much you can yeah, do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, right. So, so I, I think. Up I mean, yeah. So it's we're probably looking at the next year grant mm -hmm. cycle. Full cycle. Okay. Um, yeah, is it park grants that roll out in January? July. And June? July, July is when they're due. July. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that may be a timing there as well. well but again, a, it's July. That's another issue. Um, you know. It's park being an acronym for those who are watching, or just you know, it's, well, it's not no, like that park. I mean, this is sort of another topic, yeah. but we need to be planning for the next phase mm -hmm. on the park here. Mm -hmm. the, I know that the baseball um, group wants to make upgrades. Yep. Um, there's stuff that has to be done on the soccer field that needs to be reseeded. There was a hope for irrigation, mm -hmm. um, and um, so. Uh, and also, you know, the I think the next step in the master plan is to get a accessible bathroom building mm -hmm. um, out there. That's a bigger ticket sure. item. But um, we need to do planning for the next phase. phase. Yeah. We don't have budget for that planning. Um, I've reached out to Sunderland Youth Baseball. They they have very limited. You know, I, they haven't, there's nobody driving sure. to drive that right now. Sherry's gone, the, you know, it's, and I was hoping, I was thinking we might go in for park grant for the next phase, phase sure. of that this it's July, a natural group, but yeah. I don't know about that. And we might just, I think what might need to happen is somebody puts in a CPA proposal for the next phase of planning and that hmm. the, the 2020 will be Planning and then 2021 will, will be execution mm -hmm. or the uh, applying for the, the mm. bigger, the next big, bigger piece. Okay. I think that's what we're looking at. So, can we uh, circle back? And I appreciate the 
appreciate the, yes. the, the phasing and plugging the park grant in. Uh, discussion with respect to um, GIS from the COG. Is there any reason we wouldn't have that sent to our office? Sure. Yeah, I mean, that's usually what we do, I would guess, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is there a motion? Um, motion. Second. Motion is made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, and we'll get this signed and sent off to Miss Mulvaney. Thank you. Okay. That one's easy. We have an original downstairs. We can stay right there. That was simple. And the phasing with respect to people who are interested in helping out with next phases and or community pathways, you know, please check out the website. Please contact the office because as you can see, you know, it's 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 in its it's in its freshman year right now. Exactly. Right? <laughs> let's see let's see what senior year looks like. And because it, it, that's what happens. It comes in phases, right? right? Let's get to senior year of the park and it'll be freshman year of whatever that phase is and see how it all ties together. Correct. Great. Thanks so much, sir. I appreciate that. No problem. Okay. I had a couple other issues. Do you have a, the other letter from me? I have one. The one I sent today. I sent one today about budget for the signage. Oh. Did you get that? Hang I on. It to them. Did I forward that to you? Let's just see. I, I, got, I, I got CHA it might next. Be in the email. I got Eversource. I sent an I email this morning. Email. Okay. Yeah. So you want to talk briefly about that, sir? Yes. Um, the, we need to remember that um, school street meeting when they're talking about people wandering on the town being yep. lost. Well, we've been trying to work on getting. We need we need new signage, mm -hmm. um, given the new you know infrastructure. So, um, I've been working on creating a new. We're 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 re in in phases. We're redoing the um, parking lot flow. Mm -hmm. It's going to be one way right now there's mixed messages yeah, yeah. like it's like half one way and half two yeah. <laughs> so it's going to be all one way and the, the the there's going to be new striping and stuff we yeah. need a new uh, we had FERCOG help us with the plan for all the signage they did signage as well as traffic flow yeah okay good um yeah they're wonderful mm -hmm. um, um so we we need a new enter sign that that um that encompasses you know, there's there's like three different signs on there right now. So we need we need a sign that's that indicates enter only, mm -hmm. handicap parking. You know, th this you know what what your part you know the boat trailer parking, river walk, and all of that. Do you have it all spec'd out for yes. like what you need? Um, so I need um, Brent um, Hale who did all the design um, at a deep deep discount. <laughs> Mm -hmm. for the park signs um we'll do it but i i need to we need to pay him right. this time um so i'm looking for budget for design and it so it would be three signs one will be at the entrance to the parking lot here and then one on um, north main street um at the school street intersection mm -hmm. um, that replaces the bent you know there's one that says ball fields one that says library one right. that says town offices they're all different sizes Staggered. and yeah. you know rusted and bent and everything. this will replace all of that and be you know like a nice design and kind of starting to brand actually yeah. this this area as an attraction hmm. um so i there were i, I went over <laughs> the budget i i still working on getting estimates for signs and there isn't enough money in the budget anywhere for mm -hmm. the quotes I've gotten so far. But Sherry found two funds that we could use, um, um, one for design mm -hmm. and um, one for the sign fabrication. It, it, it's a transportation fund that had $1,200 in okay. it. Um, there's, uh, for design, there's a um, 6,000 leftover design funds from Complete Streets. I think with complete streets, if it's not specifically called out in the project, the list of the projects, that we've got to make for the design. That's for the complete streets uh, project. Yeah. But for the design, does it have to be? I think we have to specific. check on that because the yeah, we look at the applications. I'm pretty sure when you do it, I'm pretty sure when you go to a complete streets application, you call out you know a series of tasks and right. etc. Right. Mm -hmm. But this isn't com we're. Not, I'm not asking for complete street funds from the state. The town has a design fund. Oh, 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 oh. Because okay. complete street doesn't pay for design. Yeah, right, right. And we had 6000 left over in our town fund mm -hmm. for design. 
So okay. that was um, the hope. I mean, School Street is on the complete streets, but it's we're, the sign is available yeah. so ahead of the let's have a look at the sign available. Could you could you check with the accountant yeah. to uh, see if that if that money is available? Yeah, I was just checking to see here if I had. Thank you. Do we have an okay. estimate for the design costs? Uh, max eight hundred. Got it. Huh. And then there's creation and installation, like three stages yeah. again. Correct. Okay. And I'm hoping the highway department can install them. Mm -hmm. well, I was going to say you probably need to talk to George. To yeah. About yeah, he's aware of it. He's he's met with us out there. Yeah. Um, okay. The first bid I got for the you know the the library sign has a frame yep. that the the sign slides it's into. Post, yeah. It's mm -hmm. got nice. The, the the company wanted three thousand dollars for two of those. So I thought yeah, that that's was probably silly. right. Sounds mm -hmm. about right. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That's, so, that's not cheap. So we may need to put more money in the budget this year. On that for, side. Okay. If the if I can't figure out how to get them done for twelve hundred. Cemetery spent that two years ago on the interior sign. I'm sure it did. How much? Three, Signs aren't cheap. About three thousand dollars. Yeah, because they're really going to stand up to the elements. Right, so. exactly. So we might need to, it might take a while to get it in the budget. Because Sherry couldn't find any other any funds anywhere. In Pleasantly, we don't keep slush funds. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. We just Well, the, the, only, the, only, the only way I, I would say where you may get it is from the highway department. Right. He hasn't had any money to, to right. any of these other signs. Right. And so that, that would be... In, in, my, in my, the only place you would think you would find is is some place in the highway, right? Something associated I'm, with roads and walks. Yep. But where else would you get it? Right. Because not, not that would pass a straight face test. Yeah. yeah. Right. And aren't we on a program over time to replace like all of our regular signage for reflectivity yeah, there's a, there's standards? A, there's a, absolutely right. There's a high, new highway standards for visibility. Yes. Correct. Yep. Yep. So it might it might be till after town meeting that we can actually get these More things special. fabricated, but we could get the design done um, yeah. if, if if I can. Yeah. Well, it's easier it's easier with the design that way people you can show people what you're what they're voting right. on. Right. Also, right, right. Is that that's point? easy. Okay. Yeah, we can do that, Sarah. But it would take a little longer and get it all done right. Then. Yeah. Okay. Good. As long as it's not waving grass. <laughs> Or wheat. rye, or whatever Jesus. that was. Rye. Wheat. Waving wheat. <laughs> it was corn. Aren't we Kansas? No, it was wheat. It wasn't wheat. corn, it Scott. Was it wasn't corn. corn. It was pumpkin season. It was wheat. <laughs> well, it was a fictitious. Yes. It, was, it, was, it was Louisiana rice. Louisiana rice. <laughs> Stylized <laughs> of wheat. Kentucky rye. <laughs> Kentucky rye. No, no, we were just going to. We'd been better off with Timothy. Continue with the theme of the, that we. Yeah, sorry, the sign. The yeah, I know. Sign, but maybe um, make the color, well, you know, either that color scheme or, or include some of the other colors. Or include input from the trustees as one of their spaces <laughs> is going to get chewed up. Uh, input from the library trustees as the proposal yeah. is for one of the spaces to get chewed up where the existing sign is. Is that what you were mentioning earlier? Oh. Oh, you were just using that as an example for costing. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Appreciate that. Um, okay. Thank you. All right. So. Um, and can I just, while I'm here, before yeah. I go, um, I just want to ask about the situation on um, North Silver with the um, the puddling. Oh, yeah. At the base of the driveway. Yes. Yes. You said Carlos looked at that, and it's a, yeah. it's a pitch and fill issue? Yeah, it, it's across. It needs to be re-graded. Um, yep. It goes across five properties. That okay. there's a grading issue, so it's not something that I or we I share the driveway with the, the other. Right, it goes across multiple driveways. Yeah, and we could, but we couldn't even do it by ourselves if we wanted, because it's it, it goes across five properties. Is it a culvert that goes across, or? It's it drains down to a. Um, Catch basin. Yeah. So we'll uh, we'll get with. It's George. supposed to drain down, yeah. so, so <laughs> but it just like collects right at the bottom of. We'll get with George and look at his summer schedule. You know he's a little short-handed right now. He's, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm so I was so sorry. Yeah. Everybody. Oh my God. So we'll we'll uh, we'll, we'll look at that and, and uh, 
uh, remember that we haven't mm -hmm. we haven't forgotten. So okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Do you need anything else from me? A million dollars. <laughs> 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 a million dollars. <laughs> <I win. laughs> right. <laughs> Only we good, right? Um, okay. So uh, next up here, uh, board updates. Minutes. Uh, well, we could do minutes too. Yeah. They are my next page. <laughs> Thanks, sir. We did the our last meeting. We did our fee schedule. We met with the water commissioner to talk about the old fire station. Um, had some updates on personnel and capital planning, and then uh, Sherry's uh, last town administrator updates. Uh, is there a motion on the minutes for discussion? Uh, motion. For a second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Three to zero, please. Okay. Select board updates. David personal was last week, right? Uh, yes, yep. and we uh, discussed what we talked about as far as reviewing the um, resumes mm -hmm. for Sherry's position. So we're going to do that, and we have. I'm just looking to see what our our next meeting is Tuesday the 29th. So we're planning on coming in there, and we'll come out of that meeting with a list of five candidates for the board to. Okay. That will allow oh, us to start interview. the interview process, which is another piece of board updates, but go ahead. Yeah. So. Okay. Thanks, Dave. Yeah. Tom, anything? Um, we had a FERCOG meeting last... Last week? Um, Thursday evening. Um, and, and we're going to be talking about it a little bit about, uh, in particular, about the, radi mm -hmm. the radio, the comms. Oh. And, I mean, we got we appear to get good news from the state where they're going to allow us to join into their oh, present good. existing system. Um, so COG is very um, huh. positive about As that right now. As opposed to a build-out of your own. Yeah, yeah, Instead of building out on our own. Good. That That's what it looks like right now. They said they have the capacity to absorb Franklin County. So we'll see where that goes. Good. That's good to hear. Yeah, it, it is. It, it's it was it, a pretty daunting price if you looked at across to other eight a host, million a hosting or a build out, whether it was a municipality hosting and then an assessment or a build out. I mean, it makes sense to have it incorporated into an existing system if there's capacity. Well, and that was a big topic at Saturday's um, the hazard mitigation thing yep. because you know because I guess that's all digital. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that, that I was saying is that's all well and good, but we also need to have some kind of analog backup because it will go down, and especially with a lot of the problems, if you lose internet and electricity, yep. you're hosed. You've yep. got no communication. Ham radios. Well, well, ham, <laughs> hams, hams only work as, as long as you have electricity. Whiskey Tango Sierra. Here you go. We, we talked about that as one layer, but if the ham operators don't have electricity, the hams aren't gonna do any good. So one of the uh, things- Dave, you don't know very many ham radio operators, do you? Oh, wow. They they <laughs> Dave, yeah. Dave, come on. Uh -huh. they get in the, get, they'll get in their cars and run off their batteries. Well, and one of the things I actually Not that I've ever about done was that, also but. using CB radios because yep. then you're in a mobile unit, you've got plenty of battery so power. Works. So CB? Yeah. Who uses CB? You would be surprised. No, I would be. <laughs> yep. And they're a lot cheaper than hands. It's good to have two layers, you know? Well, you have and then you have a door. Mm -hmm. well, right, and then door. Door. Yeah. But yeah, that that was a that was a big topic of stuff. C B radio. Wow. Yeah. Back to the seventies. Yep. That's right, breaker one nine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, rubber ducky. Rubber ducky. That's right. rubber ducky. Get your nice. convoy. That's right. Let them roll. Okay, Dave. That's pretty funny. Uh anything else, Tom? Uh, I'm all set, Mr. Chair. Thank okay. you. So uh, there was our comedy break for the evening. There was a comedy break. <laughs> it's, 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 there's still opportunity for more. <laughs> so the Frank, I'm sorry, the Frontier Regional uh, Administration has reached out to the capital planning group that worked on the framework they've adopted at the school committee adopted some of those steps and now wants to uh, have the first set of meetings. So I want to say it's the 29th. I have to look at my date, but I um, think it's the 29th. I can tell you. You, you can probably tell, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, it is the 29th. 29th. 
6.30. So that'll be the, one of the first meetings. And the Sunderland Capital Planning Committee had their meeting prior to our last Before. select board meeting. Our next one is in a couple of weeks as well. So that's going on. Um, with respect to, let's just jump right into the town administrator transition because we talked on it, uh, talked about it twice, uh, on two ele touched on it on two elements tonight. The first was personnel committee has, has uh, resumes for both interim and permanent. Uh, and they are uh, going to send, as Dave said, uh, five to however many names um, make sense to the board. And at which point we should schedule for our next meeting have uh, dates for uh, interviewing and how <clears throat> we, we want to handle that. And that yeah. gives us time to think about it. Tom, we've done it one time on a big Saturday marathon. We've done it spread out a couple of times over a couple of weeks. Uh, a couple of nights over a couple of weeks. So between now and our next meeting, let's think about what that process would be like. And again, that um, first phase of those interviews, that should really just be all public. That's all right. straight interview, introductions, there's no negotiations, it's only interviews. We've done this before and we know how to stay out of trouble. So uh, thoughts about that? I mean, pretty straightforward <coughs> process. Yep. And the goal would be, you know, late December, early January at the very latest. By the time you get done interview process, you're into November. Yep. Right? Then uh, I, I would say that um, um, Sherry gave us the required notice. So we've uh, put advertisements in the local um, t where we typically would find um, town administrators. Um, we have a number of resumes that have been submitted to us already uh, we I think the personnel committee they deal the personnel committee deals on a regular basis I mean that's what our personnel committee does and I mean they're they're a representative of our our townspeople and also our there are we have employees that work on it also um, or that the employees are on the uh, so I think it's a good mix to, to run the screening and then we have our um, town administrators. We have the open interviews, right. and and I would I would say, recommend to people um, that between now we would probably look at interview starting with four or five weeks. I would say get questions into the selectman's office yeah. that you want that if you want to yeah, participate, um, put put it you know. Ask ask some questions if you want a particular question asked, and, and send it in to us, and 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 we can look at the questions and, and put it on the questions. Yep. Usually, we, usually we have forty five minutes to an hour interview, mm -hmm. um, first interview. So I would just do it then. Plenty of opportunity. That's a good point. I I, I, I personally think. Well, I mean, we we have asked for in, for uh, we have um, interim town administrative positions also, but I think. Um, if if we can't find any good candidates within the, you know, then maybe go to the interim. But right now, if we can get somebody in that time frame that you were talking about, I think it would serve us best to do that way. Get us in right in the beginning of the, well, get us in the busy season of the budget process. Yeah. But again, that's it's where you want a town administrator. Just toss them right in the frying pan. <laughs> You know? well, well, let's hope, let's hope <laughs> Why not? Let's assume they've done it before. That's right. right? That's right. Yeah. Do we, I forget, what was the, the closure date for like the, the resumes? End of October. End of, we, we didn't we didn't put a date out there. We, yeah, we don't. You yeah. don't. You, you just you accept accept the accept the <clears throat> resumes that they come in. I mean, well, the reason I say end of October is that it ends the beacon piece ends. That oh, was right. the last was, one. That was the longest one. And yeah, ends. but we can. I mean, you can accept you can accept resumes forever if you want. I Good mean, point. until the position's full. Sure. Yeah. We had no. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I, I wasn't so sure. Yeah. Yeah. The, and, and I mean, you guys are. Personnel committee. That makes personnel sense. committee is supposed to take it up. Uh, what next week? Definitely week and yeah. a half. So at the end of October. But I mean, any ads in the beacon should have been inactive. Just what four weeks have been out Correct. there. Yep. Yeah. I wouldn't anticipate a lot of resumes being received after that, anyways. So, and there's no reason you can't start the uh, interviews concurrently. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Makes perfect sense. Okay, so that's our process. Yep. Um, 
We'll keep everybody up to date. If you have questions you want to have as part of interview questions, please send them into the, the uh, uh, website, uh, office email, and then we'll be incorporating the best of the best. Okay, CHA public hearing response report. We've got a thing in front of us from CHA about the public hearing, which was with the DOT, District 2, and CHA and, and many good town residents who had good suggestions. Uh, and there are eight that came out. They are crosswalks, right? Previously proposed. Bicycle facilities no longer serves the same purpose. Change continuing. So as a result of this, removing proposed crosswalks at the corner location. Loss of on-street parking over here. Instead of eight spaces, it turns into six with one handicap. Maintain the current design. Provide painted crosswalks in the stamped color. Both painted crosswalks and stamped are degraded by necessary winter. CHA recommends the proposed painted sidewalks. I'm sorry, sidewalks and crosswalks. Crosswalks by North Silver Lane. Termination of promote sidewalk on the east side, 120, should be eliminated. CHA recommends discontinuing the sidewalk on the east side of North Silver Lane, not extending to 210 North Main Street. Radar speed sign, everybody get excited about it. They recommend that. Concrete medium, no one was excited about. They said, let's not do that. Tree clearing, uh, they're cognitive of trees, and uh, especially at 243 North Main. Uh, concept plan for an alternative, which is a little bit of a bump in the sidewalk. And then root damage to existing trees. And their uh, recommendation is that you know, they'll be cognizant of that, hire a certified arborist, and we've made that contact already. So these eight recommendations are outputs from public input, and that's a good thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's why we have it. Do you want to go by your step, step by step, Mr. Mm -hmm. Chair? Uh, you want to just vote them as a slate, as a recommendation? Well, I, I, we could. I, I mean, I mean, I, I, I don't have a problem with any of them. Yep. Um, the, the, I understand one. I support. I support number one. Yeah. Um, and again, it was there for very specific reason. That reason is no longer there. Number two was loss of on-street parking. Yeah. And I know that that was a concern. Mm -hmm. But the fact that we're gaining we're gaining handicapped spots Correct. and more importantly, it's to add safety to that area. Right. And again, to anyone's ever tried to cross, everybody's tried to cross. South Main or North Main Street in front of the library will tell you it's a lot of asphalt. It's a and lot very, of asphalt, right? So yeah. I, I anything we can do, and I think it also would help slow traffic down right. by doing that as and well. Adding out this kind of bullhorn arrangement at this mm -hmm. end of school, and yeah, mm -hmm. like, yeah. I, I I don't have I don't have a problem with number two, yep. the painted the painted crosswalks. Again, we we have discussed um, stamp colored product crosswalks before, and and we have said. We didn't want to use stamped stamped uh, mm -hmm. um, sidewalks on on uh, crosswalks, yeah. crosswalks yep. or, go on, sidewalks, yeah. or sidewalk <clears throat> on 116 because of the noise generated. I would say that's that would be Same. consistent. Mm -hmm. um, the the crosswalk on North Silver Lane terminating um, earlier. Uh, um, I think the people that brought that forward, it was a good choice. I, I mean, it made perfect sense sure. to me. You're going to crosswalk and, and to nothing on the other side anymore. Why bother? Right. Right. Why bother? Yep. The radar sign, mm -hmm. um, we're still looking. I, I would totally agree with that. Yep. I mean, anybody that's come on 116 and watch the mm -hmm. brake lights that come on when you come through there, mm -hmm. with especially when there's a police cruiser sitting down there will sure. we'll tell you that they do work and and i think we're still looking in the radar signs forever other places in town well, yeah. right. i would support that the concrete <clears throat> median um they had added that um to and i think that's and again with the way it's designed now i don't i don't think it's going to be a i know specifically up on pine street and mm -hmm. amherst they're crazy i don't agree with them there either so i don't it's one of those things i understand why they thought about putting something there but the execution of it is not going to no, work i think it's important to bear in mind that wasn't necessarily included in the original plan <clears throat> that came out of one That's of the correct. one of the many public meetings the right. <clears throat> and, and, and so we talked about it started with 
no raised islands. Exactly. And it went to raised islands to see who used that as a form of traffic dampening as well as protection for pedestrians who could get in the right. middle of the space. It makes sense and, from that perspective. But, but another a subsequent public hearing, and the reality was there was enough there was enough consensus to go, yeah, not so much. So here it is. <clears throat> With all that's old is new again. Yeah, right. because we had a complete about face on a number of topics Correct. based on the people Correct. that were in the meetings. But that's but that's then, why you have public that's input. That's why we have yeah. public input. Correct. I mean, on number seven about the tree clearing at two forty three North Main Street, I I don't I would love to see conceptual things about how they would alter it, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and so that we can compare mm -hmm. and sure. make a make an informed decision. But right, I I would say on number seven, Mr. Chair, if if I would say sure, let's see some concept okay. some conceptual stuff. Right. Um, so that's your ideas. Well, yeah. What what yeah. ideas do you have? Right. Should, let let's see something. Mm -hmm. Let's see something. And on number eight, um, I mean that's been a concern of ours from day one. So yeah, and we're, we're fortunate to have been contact in contact with a, a wonderful local arborist of of some esteem. Do so. Doctor uh, Brian is yeah. uh, <clears throat> is very well known in. Arboretum world, so yeah. um, he's, he's very, There's a budget included, and he's, yeah, on, he, he's, he's on the team. <coughs> yeah, he, we've been Dr. emphatic about uh, number he, eight. From he's, the uh, I mean, he he knows more about trees than, and, and I we are we are we are exceptionally, and he's done work with us on the Veterans Memorial and self made, and he he uh, identified uh, Dutch elm disease, but everybody else was saying no, it wasn't Dutch elm disease, and he identified it very quickly so he knows his stuff mm -hmm. and he's and he's been in the business a while right so i would say number eight to we're, we're already investigating yeah he's already got so, budget numbers in there working with cha on it absolutely so. so i i think i could support seven out of the eight and the only one i would is number seven i'd like to see some conceptual i think they, they referenced tom having a concept a concept already in place if you look at that it says under the alternate drawing pdf yep. so we just have to do our homework on that yeah so that's fine that was the bump out wasn't it, Where it yeah bumped out. yeah <clears throat> you want to vote on that sure yeah um, motion. so move, move to accept um seven of the eight uh, and then confirm with drawings on number seven. seven. Correct. Yep. Correct. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Three to zero, please. Okay. Eversource. Oh, no. Let's do sewer rates instead. So $388,492 operate the sewer system this year. 1,264 sewer users and... Three hundred and seven dollars and thirty-five cents per unit, or an increase of eleven dollars. I think we're extremely lucky in the town of Sunderland to have our our wastewater treatment plant and the and the people that operate it. We they do an exceptional job year after year, and I keep our. I mean, we are not wanting for. I mean, we have a good maintenance program. Our stuff is updated on a time. Our equipment's updated on a timely on a timely manner. Mm -hmm. And when we have a question about sewer, we have we have professionals that can answer our mm -hmm. question. I and and to pay three hundred seven dollars a year That's for a the system that we have, right. I think is uh, probably one of the best bargains that we have in our town. Fair. And uh, in, in that vein, we're in the middle of a, a st uh, I and I study infiltration study right yep. now, and that will help with capital phasing for the next round. Next round. And that's important mm -hmm. to bear in mind. So that kind of uh, short. This is this is operating now, but in that there is a capital component, and there is also uh, planning for future capital work. And and Scott, last mind. last time last time we did some. We we had a problem. We had a problem with I and I coming in on uh, the the line coming in from um, um, Cliffside Apartments, yep. and, and we um, we went out. We bonded the 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 work being done, and they came in well under. Yep. I mean, our sewer well lines our, our our sewer lines are clean. Our 
you know, they, they maintain them, they're jet rotted, they're, we do a good job, so. So that said, as a commissioners, we're gonna set a sewer rate for FY20 of $307.35 per unit for a total operating of $388,492. Is there a motion? Uh, motion. Second. Motion's made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three to zero, please. Okay. <laughs> so, I just have to laugh. I know names are funny things, right? Having a funny name myself. But you got you got to admit, someone who's in the, the bond authorization business and the firm's name is Lock, Lock and Lord and Lord. <laughs> yeah. Bless them. Yeah. I get it. Names come from places, but that's that's just like that's got marketing written all over it. So we're looking to borrow $536,868 as approved by town meeting through the form of a debt exclusion. And we're going to try to do this. It says payable within five years. That's a pretty hefty accelerated lot. Did the treasurer collector talk at all about more than five years? I mean, it should be a 30 year asset. Uh, or 40. Yeah, 40 is a bit of a stretch. 40 is a bit long. Yeah, 40 is well, a bit I, of a stretch. I thought we usually did fire truck for 10 years. <laughs> I thought it was 10 years personally. I think if you talk about, you're basically talking about $100,000 a year. Yeah. Effectively, quick Right math. the way it is now. Right. Yep. Now we have, fortunately, we have, and it's fortunately, if, from a sake of timing, there would only be overlap on this <coughs> with one year, and then the library and the public safety complex would be gone. Go off. So the hundred thousand is about what's it about two hundred thousand dollars, hundred seventy-five thousand dollars. A dollar is a for dollars, a dollar, dollars for a dollar thousand. Yeah. So you're probably you're looking at a hundred thousand dollars a year. Fifty cents. You're looking at fifty, seventy, fifty to sixty cents. Right. Okay. Five years. Right. I mean, yeah. You got that. I mean. And again, the timing is such that you have two buildings coming off. This will be on. Yeah. And that will. Then it'll come off. And then five. it comes off in five. Well, you're not paying this year. Well, I understand. Yeah, it wouldn't keep. It'd be coming so, yeah, off. It'd be coming, coming off. Be, You'd be off. off. Off at the same. This would come on at the same time as the other. It goes off. off. Yeah. Because okay. you're not you're not paying this year. You wouldn't be paying till next year. Fine. Right. Yep. That's true. It's advantageous. Okay. Let's do it for five years then. Uh, motion. Second. Motion's made and seconded to choose between five years and 40 years. Let's choose five. <laughs> uh, any more discussion about a five-year bond of 536-868? Not hearing any more discussion. Is there all those in favor? All right. Uh, three to zero, please. So five years. This is the COM system we talked, Tom, you were talking about earlier with respect to the COG. And again, this has been a couple of years in the make of exploration about what to do with emergency communication system in the Franklin County area. from somebody named after a famous philosopher. There you go. To continue with the name. There you have it. So the list, the list of users is pretty darn long. Yeah. Municipal Fire and Police, AMR, Amherst Ambulance. Yep, it covers them all. Sheriff's Department, Highland Ambulance. Okay. 
So this is the MOA for the cog to continue operating the system as it stands. Correct. And as you were saying, we're exploring, instead of a build-out, a switch to covering the state, and that would be some time either during this particular it, They period. want it done within the next three years, yeah. Okay. Is there a motion to continue with a memorandum of understanding of having the cog operate uh, emergency communication systems? Motion. Yeah, second. We have a motion made and seconded. And again, this is... a. Uh, with the COG for another ter term of three years, starting December 1st, um, and recognizing that there's going to be an upgrade on the on the horizon, the very yeah. short horizon. <coughs> okay, all those in favor? Uh, Aye. Right. Right. Yeah, we got to we got to change our insurance in the building. Maya is increasing our premium. Is it 900 bucks? Nine hundred nine dollars, uh, School Street, and it's um, effectively a change of coverage having to do with valuation of the space, and you know we put some money into the, not just the space but the area around it. So, and this building sees a fair amount of activity. So we're getting an increase of nine hundred nine dollars from Maya for property. That's we're not talking about anything else. Although I would like to, while we're on the subject of Maya, the health insurance premium came in essentially flat. It was like 0.06. That's a refreshing change. Yep. That's nice. So uh, for the $909, we'll have to just find a way to squeeze $909 out of the insurance line, which is you know almost always overspent. Okay. Uh, motion to accept? Uh, motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Zero. I would say the other thing about Maya, as we talk about insurers and insurance companies, they were very generous to us with covering of the bridge costs about exiting the health insurance from the Hampshire COG. That's and true. we've paid, I believe we've paid that piece off now. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Hampshire COG or Franklin? I thought it was, it was Hampshire Trust. I'm Hampshire. sorry, Hampshire yeah. Trust. Hampshire Trust. Trust. Sorry, yeah. I mixed them up. Yeah. Hampshire Cogs had a nice new building, except they don't exist anymore. <laughs> yep. Okay. Next up. Mass cultural. Yeah. Except money. Should we? We get to set money. I guess. All right. So the mass. I'm looking at. I'm, I'm looking at an Eversource slip. Then my brain is somewhere else. I did. I didn't. I, I. I didn't pencil that dot in. Yeah, I blew right over it. So the Mass Cultural Council grant, um, you know, up for us to us to sign up to fifty two hundred dollars, and those applications can be sent in through Mass Cultural in the office. Yep. And they do a good thing. They've done. They've sponsored both uh, art installations. They've helped with uh, performance pieces. They work with uh, communities all over and. Lord knows, we're under enough pressure as a society. Let's keep our culture. That's right. Okay, motion to accept. Uh, motion. Second. Motion is made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Three to zero, please. All right, now back up to Eversource. How come you skipped that before? I didn't, I didn't pencil the dot in. Oh. You just want to save the best for last. <laughs> I have check marks, check marks, check marks. I, I did CHA, I didn't do Eversource. So, they're they want to give us, us money on investing in our energy. Yeah, they want to give us money. Recognition of our smart energy choices. Well, there we have it. Nice. Well, let's move to accept that one then. Ninety. So, so, Ninety-three sixty-three. So basically, basically, we're using our energy resources wisely between green communities between you know the regular invoicing yep street light work street light we still haven't gotten an invoice for street lights since they've been changed no. Good. Zippo. Uh, <laughs> none perfect and probably the lights better yep. yeah, um actually the light is kind of 
interesting you said that because now like if there's a heavy fog or something like mm -hmm. that and you actually see yeah you actually see the distribution yeah, it's exactly. interesting well yeah. but it's 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 interesting about how the what, what do you call the um when you actually see how the light isometric is, the isometrics are, that's right thank you yep. scott how the isometrics work i mean because they, they really are do. right it, it's the lights for the most part is not going up it's yep. being focused to the ground and it's right. being focused where it needs to go i i think it's rather than just spraying everywhere. that was a good plan that was a good project yep, yep. very good project well this is one of those good examples of constantly just hammering away at efficiency and money savings and it's something that Sure. You don't necessarily see up front. I think it was the first year you were on. We set a goal of five percent per year yeah. reduction, yep. and we've been doing pretty well. Yeah, doing mm well. -hmm. Okay, uh, we're about to. I have to, I have to pencil the. I have to circle the. Two as, as, I, I, the as, I'm told, I, as I'm told at work often, the planet has a fever, and we need to do something. We only got one. We only got one. So we're That's we're one. trying. We're um, uh, move to accept the energy project update. Uh, motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Birthday. <clears throat> okay. Any other pearls of wisdom from this esteemed body? There's a, one, <laughs> there's a 120 North Main <laughs> Street uh, working group quick meeting tomorrow. Bring us up mm -hmm. to date on the most current um, stages of that project. And then I think it's capital it's tomorrow. There's another one after that. It was getting into that busy time. Yeah, of it's year. getting into that season. I want to thank Cindy for coming in tonight versus spending the entire remainder of the week watching this on TV going, what the hell did they say? <laughs> <laughs> but rewind that. Hold on. <laughs> exactly. Town office building, 6 and 6.30. So anyway, one to oh yeah, capital fund. Yep. Okay. That said, we'll be back at that tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna still be on our every other week for yep. a little bit, and we'll be here next. Unless week you want to meet next week. Well, we've got the. Um, you guys have personal, personal committee twenty ninth. We have personal on the 29th, but I think next week, at least on my calendar, hazardous it's the hazardous mitigation. Oh, got it. Yeah. So we're on for so next we week. To finish that. Yep. So we'll be here, but not for our not for our. We'll, be, we'll be posted, and we'll if the agenda fills up, we'll fill it up. But certainly, hazardous, hazardous mitigation is going to be an important thing. The COG's been working yes. on that. There was a working group last Saturday, and um, oh, I know I will say that we actually we were able to talk about potential um, tie-ins to I think, which we went at pains to not use the term ditches. Yeah. But, <laughs> so yes, um, pains to not use that word. Yeah. yeah. But so there may be some assistance there. But you know, realizing that it's not going to be it's the reason it got dropped before was because of the price. And right. you know, it's one of those things where you'll have the initial cost, and then there has to be an ongoing maintenance, and we have to figure out how to deal with that from a mecha cost mechanism perspective on private property <laughs> well, for exactly. a system that's not a town system. Exactly. I will, so I will a be a needle in a groove about that. No, like it's stuck the whole time. It, we yes. have two little areas of ditches that are town property. Right. And actually, said, supposedly not even. So. Correct. <laughs> so, right. So it is all so private again, property. So again, to, to your point, I don't mean to be, you know, a mm. contrarian one there, but to your no, point, it's... if it can be incorporated into the hazard, mit hazard mitigation plan, and you can get buy-in from all of the property owners along the system. Well, see, that's one of that's the things that we different. Talk about, right. Even if we had a giant pile of money here right. for it, if you don't get everybody, like if you look at one of the, the perennial streams along there, if you don't get everybody along it to do it, then it's not going to work. Right. Because exactly. you get one or two right. people that don't, and then it backs up everything, yep. and it's all for naught. Right. Great so point. it's... It's really a system that it's all or nothing. But the hazard mitigation work that the COG has done and the input from the community and department heads has, is really important because that's our plan going forward for either work the town appropriates money for yeah. or for grant rounds for mitigation. That's why it's the second word. All right, and we plan for these emergencies and hopefully we won't have them, but Correct. we know we will. So.
Great point. So we'll be back at that next week, next Monday, this time. We got that, FCAT? You're going to be here? Nice. Big, awesome. big thumbs up. FCAT, how late do you want to stay tonight? As late as he wants. Shaking his head. All right. Is anything else to cover? If not, is there a motion to adjourn? Motion under duress. Oh, we, have bond, we have a bond to sign <laughs> for five do, years for right. $586,000 downstairs. We're going to buy a truck. Actually, we bought one. We're just going to write the check. Or a Bugatti. Or a we Bugatti. can just put some hoses on that. <laughs> second. There's a motion made and seconded to adjourn. Uh, all those in favor of adjournment? Aye. Aye. You can call us out at a 745, please.